open the Material Database window by clicking on the Materials button in the main toolbar. To add a new NK material to the Material Database, click the Add button and select NK material from the drop-down list of material models. The new material is added to the material list. From the Material List table, double-click on the name to set the name of the material to new NK. Under the Material Properties section, the two inputs to the model are the real and imaginary parts of the refractive index. Double-click to set the values. Click OK to accept the changes. Now add a rectangle from the Structure menu and edit the structure. Under the Materials tab, when I click on the drop-down menu, I can now see the new NK material that I just added as one of the options. Now to add a sampled 3D data material, I have a text file that contains the material data that I want to import, where each row contains the real and imaginary part of the refractive index for one wavelength. In this file, the first column contains the wavelength in units of microns, the second and third columns contain the real and imaginary parts of the refractive index. This is for an isotropic material. Data can also be specified for an anisotropic material with diagonal anisotropy by importing a file with seven columns, where there are three columns for each the real and imaginary part of the data for the x, y, and z directions. To add the new material, open the material database, click Add, and select Sampled 3D Data. Set the material name. Click the Import Data button. In the Data Import Wizard, click the Select File button to open a file browser where you can select the text file with the material data. Under the Import settings, select Index and Wavelength with units of microns. Click Next. Here you can assign which column corresponds with what data. Click Next. Here, if there are any problems detected in the data, you will see a message. Finally, click Finish. Now in the Material Properties section of the Material Database, you can see the table of imported data. If the material data loaded contains seven columns for anisotropic data, the anisotropy setting of the material would automatically show diagonal anisotropy. The settings in this table show the default material fit settings that will be used for generating a broadband material fit. There will be more information on the material fitting settings in the following unit. Any new materials added this way are available in the simulation file but won't be added to the default list of materials in the material database when you open a new file. Details about adding materials to the default material database can be found in the related link below this video.